Hello, and the footage you're about to watch is the Scotland trip, which I meant to post quite a while back, since it happened in uh, July. <laughs> but uh, I've been quite busy. Uh, I've had to uh, do quite a bit here lately. I've passed my HGV course, which has uh, kept me busy and delayed in any ability for me to uh, edit footage. So, but it's finished. Um, I did have some difficulty with the footage. I did record it on this little camera here instead of the GoPro that I'm using to record right now. Uh, sometime after Tough Mudder, it must have done a reset. So everything that you see time-wise in the little corner right here is all incorrect in the following footage. <laughs> So just ignore the uh, timestamp in the following video. But uh, I hope you enjoy it. I did, and I know Alaric did too. And uh, more content will be on the way. I am a bit behind in editing. I do have footage to uh, more footage to post, but like I've said, I've just been busy with my HGV course or LGV. And I look forward to uh, driving trucks uh, over here in the UK, like I did in the States. So, enjoy the video. And the footpath that takes you that direction towards the village of Glenclaw. This is a uh, Alaric and I second full day here. So, thought I'd give you a tour. Needed a bit of a rest after uh, tough mudder, so yesterday was a bit of a rest day. <laughs> and then the night that we got here, we just kind of got cleaned up and crashed, so. <laughs> your little designated family area for if you have children under 10 it looks like here here's where you check in they're closed at the moment because uh, it's uh, six just the so I think they're on pair oh yep yeah, eight yep somewhere between 8 a.m. 8 and 10 a.m. They open up. So. They sell the firewood. And if you get here and it's closed, just make camp, check in, and member of staff will be here at some point and you'll be able to uh, talk to them. And as you can hear, if you can hear my phone, that's because sometimes I do get a little bit of data out here. We'll, we'll get more onto that shortly. The little information hut here. It's actually my first time walking in this, so Let's see what this is like. Harry Potter film site number seven. Hagrid's hut, I think, in the first movie was filmed on site here. Or 
right there we've got a place where you can charge things. So they got a little heater here too, electric heater. It's all little pamphlets and all the information. Mountain weather information. It warns you that it could be five to seven degrees Celsius above the summits. Uh, okay. Put a little forecast up here for us. Lots of tourist pamphlets in different language. In case of emergency or anybody gets hurt, this is the helicopter landing site. Because we are in a very remote area of Scotland. So the nearest hospital would be quite a significant drive to get to an A&E, or in America, as you would call an ER. So, good size cleared area for a helicopter to get through. They do have a tea, coffee, soft drink, like, kitchen thing here, but I haven't seen it open, so I can't be affirmative if that's available on a normal time or not. Silence is from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. As I was talking about data, this is the Wi-Fi zone. No food and drinks inside. And as you can see in the distance there, Alaric and I are not too far away from this. <laughs> see? Free guest Wi Fi. No smoking. <laughs> charge anything in here, but maybe they'll change that at some point, but for the moment, you know, it works. It's a little shelter for you to be at if the weather is bad and you want to use some Wi-Fi. As you can see, the scenery is just absolutely beautiful. Something got to be flying overhead. Ooh, this is our campsite. That's where we've been having our campfires over there.
Oh, yep. Gotta unlock the fan. There we go. Little tour of my setup at the moment. Put this light on so it's a little brighter because it's dark in here. Yep, so this is my setup. Got my Yeti cooler there. Jackery's down there. A few of my other things down along here. My sleeping bag. Got the vents. Water damage is actually from the, uh, well, I say water damage, it's just water stain at this point, it's dry. It's from the Lake District when we had the heavy rains in that valley, Halleric and I were at. So yeah, I've got a good, good little setup there with my shells up there and... Sure the van's all locked up here. Ooh, the showers and uh, toilets are all located over there. These here are the bathrooms. Also, where you can get a shower. Little here, little area here where you can do your dishes and wash your clothes. And the men's bathroom. Oops, I must have washed that. There are a few locations on the campsite in which you can get water. All of them have this sign. All of them come out of trees. No. <laughs> There's a pipe around back. This is where your recycling and trash and other things go.
as you can see over there. Little uh, Volkswagen uh, camper van. <laughs> it's my love for those, but I know many people do, but that looks in really good shape. We actually heard that one uh, come in. <laughs> so, one of many of the interesting campers that are here. Just past that camper, the Volkswagen camper, is a little trail behind me that leads you out here. This is an area which I've seen people go in for a swim or have a little inflatable. Alaric and I tried to uh, go swimming in it yesterday, but it's cold. It's freezing cold. You think we'd be used to it after a uh, tough mutter, but <laughs> it was still a bit too much for us. I've been hoping for clear, clear sky so we can see the stars and everything at night with very little light pollution out here. But it's looking like our forecast just shows a lot of overcast, which is typical of Scotland. But you know, at the same time, it's very nice. I cannot complain. Absolutely loving these views. Little Volkswagen camper there. That was a really nice little camper. All in uh, the uh, Land Rover that I saw. A really nice picture I took at that from a distance yesterday. So I think I will leave it there. Um, that's the tour of our campsite. Um, We'll probably do some hiking and exploring, and uh, I'll make more videos on that. <laughs> Fun? Nope. <laughs> The 
This is Loch Laven. Near the... Right along the uh, village in which we're uh, staying at. Is this wonderful lake? Paying is not cheap. Number ones and number twos cost money. Link now. Welcome to Glinklow. This area of the Highlands is rich in history with stunning views and a wide variety of accommodations for visitor and amenities. That's where I was earlier when I was looking over at the lake. A lock. <laughs> Here we are now. I know. That's why I'm like, you know, I feel like I'm back in time a bit with some of the way the buildings are just. I'll land her over. Oh, the thatch roof. We don't see that much now, is it? Yeah. Done so properly, they last a long time. Yep. I mean, what you've got, I think that's probably about eight years old, seven years old. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's flash apparently, I don't know. Oh, that's the museum. Well, I'll have a look and see if there's any more gifts for the family, right? Like Admission three pounds. Oh, yeah, it's nothing, is it? Oh. Hi. In May of 2003, filming for the third Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban took place in Glenclaw in the spring of 2003. Little Lego set here. <laughs> Three sets were built near the bottom of Klinglag Gully and just across the road from the Klinglag Inn. It's across the road from the inn that we've been drinking in, mate. It's across the road. It's across the road from where we've been drinking. Oh my god, the mountain, yeah, I recognize the mountain. Yeah! Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Fantastic scenery overlooking the 
Yes. Oops, lost. I lost. Turn to their natural state, leaving behind evidence of the witchcraft. Sorry, that's not place at all. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, there's a lot to see here, but I'm not going to record it all. It's worth coming to see. And only three pound. It's only a little museum, but it's all worth seeing. We're on our way to go up and see where Hagrid's hut was in Harry Potter, the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> well, with the coordinates I found online, I don't think it's this path. So we're going to go back down and maybe look for another path that might take us closer to the coordinates. Alaric's a bit too tired now to continue. Big thumbs up, big praise from him. Yeah, he's thirsty. So, uh, we're going to go down this path. Because this looks familiar from something I've seen. Regarding Hagrid's hut. So, from another video of somebody finding the location. So, off I go. On this path. So I thought this was it, but the coordinates don't seem to add up right, and there's a bit of a drop there, so maybe it's further up. I'm hoping there's a clearing up there and it gets flat and then I recognize the place. Well, onward I must go. I've reached a bit of a clearing like I thought I would. <sighs> With the lake still visible down there. And this. Check my coordinates. See if it's right. Let's see here. Almost. Well, I'm still not quite sure. Found another clearing. Coordinates don't add up. You can still see the lake down there. A little bit more flat here. A little bit more flat here. So, I'm not sure where else to go path wise. Not sure where to continue on. Uh, 
might keep looking. Well, there doesn't seem to be anywhere else to go. I'm not in the mood of walking right through therns. I'm losing my location, even though I've got mountains and things to go off, but yeah. I think I might have to turn back. I sure did make it up high though. One thing I did find here is a giant mushroom. Maybe signs of campsite, it looks like. Fire. Well, didn't see Hagrid's hut or the location of it, but this view has made it worthwhile for me. Luckily, there's many paths to descend up and down here, so just join one of them and work my way down. But, uh, yeah, failed attempt to find a location of a Hagrid's hut and movie, but you know what? Still breathtaking. And I'm not too far off. <laughs> My campsite's just down there. The van. The van's just down there. You can see the red trailer. The food trailer. They have a camp. For the trees there. And the river. As you can see, campsite is down there. Food van there. <laughs> Using my iPhone to zoom in now. People there walking. To go to the creek and, and uh, yeah, campsite just down there, the red squirrel. Wow. If anything, this bit here with the tree line there and up to here where I passed significantly earlier. I thought as soon as I came to it, it, it had to be the location. <laughs> but it, it doesn't add up with where I've looked up the coordinates earlier today. But maybe they were wrong. I mean, 19 years has passed by since that movie. Just the rock there. And all this here. Don't know.
what's left of our campsite. As we're about to hit the road and head home. You want to go to that petrol station there, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Alright, goodbye Red Squirrel. I'm seeing the sun.